What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at a very important question. It's a very common question in the community right now, and it's does Dragonfly spec work with Chain Reaction? Salvager's Salvo is a fantastic weapon, and a lot have been running Dragonfly spec on it. But today we're going to answer this very important question. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. Or if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, before we jump into the meat of today's video, I want to first invite you all to the Jarv Community Hub. This is a fast growing community discord we have with over 4,000 amazing guardians. So whether you want to talk about destiny, discover its hidden secrets, or just get a fire team together to get things done, be sure to jump in. It's available to absolutely everyone. And you can find the link to our community discord down in the video description below. Now, jumping back into today's video, we're jumping into a very important question and it's that does dragonfly spec chain with chain reaction now in order to get to the bottom of this very question we first need to pull back the covers and really have a closer look at dragonfly spec specifically now dragonfly spec was a mod that you could get from ada one originally now if you don't have this already i believe banshee 44 occasionally sells mods over in the tower so be sure to regularly pay him a visit now the dragonfly spec mod reads it increases the radius and damage of dragonfly now for dragonfly itself this is where precision kills create a elemental damage explosion now this is where it overlaps with chain reaction now chain reaction is a new perk that was introduced with season of the hunt on the blast for two grenade launch and this reads where each final blow with the weapon creates a elemental damage explosion so as you can see the descriptions of both of those perks dragonfly and chain reaction are very similar and have a major overlap and that's where dragonfly spec really comes into play and is one of the main reasons why chain reaction is thought to be benefiting from the dragonfly spec mod now with that all being said it's time to jump into some testing now i've got the ancient gospel hand cannon and the garden of salvation i've got rapid hit but also dragonfly on this hand cannon now the idea here is to test exactly what dragonfly on its own with no mod is doing now to help clearly identify whether i do or don't have a mod attached i've added an indicator to the top left hand side of the screen now what you'll see here is that dragonfly on its own for the most part creates this smoldering effect when defeating a combatant there are the random occasional blasts of explosions however these are quite rare and few and far between now these do represent what dragonfly would do if you had the mod equipped so it does appear that larger elemental damage explosions can happen even without the mod attached albeit with them being quite rare now if we attach the dragonfly spec mod what you'll instantly see is that these larger elemental damage explosions are happening on a more regular basis even the smoldering effect when you defeat combatants is slightly larger than without the mod attached the thing to bear in mind as well is that the dragonfly spec mod can provide a damage increase of up to 51 percent and this is a result of the explosion itself higher damage will be delivered to combatants the closer they are to the center of the explosion and this further helps it spread to other combatants too creating those larger explosive takedowns so just by looking at this comparison we can clearly see the benefit that dragonfly spec mod is delivering to dragonfly as a perk now with that knowledge in the bank we're going to jump over to the salvager's salvo which has chain reaction to see if it has a similar benefit to that weapon too now our first test here on salvager's salvo is without a dragonfly spec mod now we have to remember here that each final blow with the weapon should create a elemental damage explosion now much like the ancient gospel quite a few of the final blows do result in a small smoldering effect albeit in arc element with the occasional burst of elemental damage explosion if you get multiple combatants together now whilst the elemental damage explosions aren't as rare as ancient gospels without the dragonfly spec they again do not occur on a regular basis now a lot of the takedowns here are direct hits and as we can see not all of these direct Direct hits result in that elemental damage explosion now with that being said though salvages salvo will still perform very well even without a dragonfly spec mod now if we switch over to the salvages salvo with the dragonfly spec mod equipped it does take a little while to get going but what is quickly apparent here is if you can get direct hits with salvages salvo then you'll notice that elemental damage explosions happen on a much more regular basis not only are they more regular they're slightly larger than without the mod equipped 
Now, whilst overall the elemental damage explosions do appear random, they do appear more consistently for those harder hitting direct hits. The more damage you can deal to your combatant, the more likely you are to cause them to create an explosion. And as we said before, Dragonfly Spec provides 51% increases in damage for any combatants directly next to the damage explosion. Now, this makes sense as it allows nearby combatants to take damage, therefore chaining the reaction and increasing the size of the explosion as a result. Now, with all that information laid out, how much of a difference does that make out in the wild if we jump over to the altar of sorrow as we know there are many waves of ads and it gives us a good indication of how beneficial this is in the live game now in the footage that you see here we don't have the dragonfly spec mod equipped but what you will see is by getting some direct hits we are still able to create that elemental damage explosion now chain reaction benefits the most when you get groups of ads together but whether this will or won't create an elemental damage explosion not only depends on whether you get a direct hit but the size of that explosion will matter depending on whether you do or don't have the mod equipped too. Now as we saw in our testing over in the throwaway in a shattered frame, elemental damage explosions don't happen too often, especially on a regular basis without the mod equipped. This is further indicated here out in the altar of sorrow, but also the size of any explosions that do happen are fairly muted. We see that smoldering effect occasionally with groups of adds, but very few large elemental damage explosions. Now if we re-equip that mod, the difference is quite stark and very apparent almost immediately. We see larger elemental damage explosions pretty much off the bat and those direct hits also consistently create those explosions too. Now to bear in mind it's not just the radius of these explosions that are larger but they also create more damage allowing them to chain to more enemies if they are close together. Now what all this testing tells us is that elemental damage explosions can happen with dragonfly and chain reaction but if you want them to be larger and happen on a much more consistent basis basis then you most definitely want to make sure that you have your dragonfly spec mod equipped now all our initial testing was done in a dungeon and we are out here on patrol and the results are relatively consistent now if you do experience any differences to what we've seen here in the video in any other game modes i will most definitely be interested to know so be sure to sound off down in the comments if you're noticing different performance in different activities so there we have it guys, have you ever wondered if Dragonfly Spec works with Chain Reaction? Well I hope this video has provided that answer for you. From all our tests that we've seen here and for all the trials that I've done earlier today, it very much appears so. Not only are the explosions much larger, but they appear on a much more regular basis. Now if you don't have Salvage's Salvo, I highly recommend that you take the time to grind this weapon out. It's one of the most fun weapons I've ever experienced inside PvE and with the Dragonfly Spec mod equipped, it makes clearing waves of ads an absolute breeze. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. Or if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. And a massive shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel as of late. The growth has been absolutely phenomenal so far this year, and that is all credit to you guys. Now, I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.